this hunter was on top of him, down in Earth, I mean. Kill couldn't get to his gun. Jeez. Are you scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just... I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and struck it down to piss. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? Are you talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? Wow. What happened? Guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. He got me beat. Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Uh, you're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. What about those crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. So welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, Dina and Ellie have made it to the outskirts of Seattle. And Dina asking Ellie about uh, who possibly those people could have been. Uh, Ellie's kind of playing dumb about it. Um, she knows at the end of the last game, at least, that there are reasons to believe that Joel was not honest about what happened with the fireflies. She can't share that information with Dina because Dina doesn't know she's immune. So Ellie just tells Dina, stop asking questions. This is a beautiful environment. Seattle was not quite this wooden <laughs> when I lived there, at least not in the city outskirts. But uh, if you went uh, a little ways outside of the city, you could definitely find places like this. So they must have been traveling for quite some time because Jackson's in Wyoming. So at least a few weeks, I think. Keeping an eye out. Got it. And yeah, Dina's kind of a badass. Uh, she's lived a, a pretty hard life in her own right. Especially before finding her way to Jackson. Ooh. Bus stop. So yeah, we're definitely in King County. That's not exactly what our bus stops looked like, but... Close enough. <laughs> Here we go. Guess I was wrong. Turns out you do know where you're going. Oh, man. Now this actually does look really similar to a very specific section of the freeway outside of Seattle. Can Ellie go down here? Doesn't seem like it. It's amazing to think that this came out on PS4 and ran on the base PS4. <laughs> huh? 
Good old I5. Keeping my eye open for uh, any of these RVs to be open. Just because I want to scavenge in case there's stuff to pick up. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Hmm. Construction entrance. That is something uh, yeah. true about Seattle. It's always under construction. All righty. Map. And yeah, this does actually look like the map <laughs> that they give out to tourists. All right, uh, downtown, Capitol Hill. Uh, oh, I see how this is uh, organized. So the Seattle in this game is actually really truncated, um, and this is missing certain areas. Like, South Square isn't actually uh, an area of town. Um, I think the area with the stadium we called it Sodo, so south of the dome. Uh, but the uh, downtown area right here, as well as um, the market, are pretty close. However, the market was not its own big area like this. Um, <laughs> especially not like Cascade and South like being their own uh, areas over there. So the map is like kind of rotated a little bit and uh filtered really the marketplace is just that little area near the uh ferris wheel and then everything that would be where like for example the space needle is uh and over towards that side would be like south lake union um and queen anne that area so just kind of interesting interesting how they truncate everything Overall, it's a pretty good representation of Seattle. Yes. Ooh, Starfire Kids. Uh, what's their names? Emiru and Sora Hoshi. Hoshi meaning star in Japanese. Uh, when 14 years old twins, uh, Emiru and Sora Hoshi found a meteorite in the woods outside of Kyoto. Touching it imbued them with the power of astrokinesis, the ability to take starlight and turn it into energy. Taken into custody by the Society of Champions, Tesseractor monitored the kids, uh, or mentored the kids, on how to use their powers safely and wisely. Though his overproductive nature eventually drove them away, now they live on the streets trying to find meaning and purpose in their powers. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's anything else for me to scavenge in here. Anything good in there? Found an old tourist map. Well... That's something. Oh, can I go out back? There might be stuff back here. Nope. Oh. So it looks like... Oh, you know what? With all the bombings that happened, I bet Seattle was uh, bombed pretty hard, which allowed probably the Puget Sound to, and, and of course the lake, to just flow freely in the city. I didn't even think about that before. Kind of interesting. Sure seems quiet. 
Yeah. Think about how well we hide our lookouts. I know. That's what scares me. She has a good point. But that being said, a city is a very large place. Uh, even a quarantine zone or a, you know, liberated zone like uh, Pittsburgh or whatever. Like, you can't really handle uh, sending out troops to the exact city perimeter. Especially if the city itself isn't cleared. The QZ? Yep. Watch the high spots. So, yeah, Seattle had a pretty big QZ wall put up just like Boston. Really amazing scenery. So WLF, trespassers killed on site. Looks like there's some cracks up there in the wall up above. You see it? Yeah. Not sure how we get up there though. WLF, trespassers killed on site. That's weird. At least we know we're in the right place. Where is everyone? They put up this sign. Means there's got to be a way in. Oh, that's a good point. These were soldiers from the QZ. See the Fedra uniforms? Do you think it was the WLF? No, we left them here. Like a warning. That's fucked up. Doesn't seem like there's anyone or any corpses in the cars. So these must have been here a lot longer. Just building another Molotov while I have the resources. It's always good to have. Fedra stages of infection. Uh, now we got this last game. It's the same uh, thing, but reading them. Infected stage one. Cordyceps have taken over the victim's motor functions. Each and uh, fast and agile. Stage one infected usually travel in packs. Do not let them swarm you. Infected stage two, also known as stalkers, uses environment to hide and ambush victims. Will frequently flank and attack from behind. Approach with caution and check your surroundings. Infected stage three, also known as clickers. Completely blind, acute hearing, uses echolocation to seek out prey. Keep your distance. Stage three infected are known for their ferocious attacks and are extremely lethal. And infected stage four, rare but dangerous evolution of stage three infected. Incredibly strong and capable of throwing acidic projectiles. Do not engage unless absolutely necessary. Also known as bloaters. Okay, let's see. Patrol routes. Pops and Chris. Carla and Hooper. John and Keen. Seth and Connie. I wonder if these are just names of different developers and friends they want to shout out and stuff. All right. Ration inventory. MRE completely depleted. Flour. Uh, we need to check the QZ zone too to see if we can find any more. Canned tomatoes, 55 cases. Canned peaches, 21 cases. 27 cases, maybe. Cleared zones. So zone 1, 9, 3, 10, 11, 5, 13, and 7 have not been cleared. So 5 out of 13 were. Um, 
so yeah, I mean, it looks like Fedra was uh, definitely having trouble going through all the different zones, clearing them and scavenging for food, but it's, it's re resources might actually be pretty okay here because they didn't get through everything, right? Assuming the w WLF didn't uh, immediately clear out everything or wasn't capable of doing so. What's Tina doing? What are you looking at? Anything under here we can play with? Ooh, a rag. That's the good stuff. All right. Um, oh, I can go prone. I always forget. So yeah, having some fun with the new movement mechanics. So The Last of Us Part Two uh, features a lot more. Ooh. Folding cells. Soldiers have them in Boston too. Uh, so yeah, The Last of Us Part Two has a lot more stealth mechanics in it. It plays a lot, honestly, like um, Metal Gear Solid Five. Ooh, scrap. Perfect. Again, we're going to want to save up as much scrap as we can find to upgrade our rifle uh, and our revolver. Excellent. More scrap. Dean is much more graceful than Ellie. Is there anything up here for us? Oh, I don't have a scope on this. All right, so we'll be able to climb up there. Just want to make sure there isn't anything else. There is this other uh, one that I didn't really look at. We'll want to climb under this one as well to see if there's anything for us. When you get to the gate, look for a soldier named Kieran. Tell him I sent you, then give him the kilo, and we'll get you inside the wall. Good luck. So Fedra themselves were corrupt as well, uh, which is something we kind of already knew, but it was them that were uh, helping fund the black market. Pretty picked over. Doesn't seem like there's anything under here for us this time, so we'll just crawl out. Yeah, I gotta go all the way back. Alrighty. Dina, help me up here. Okay. Good posture. Keep an eye out. Just see if you can get the gate open from the other side. Sounds good. Oh boy. <laughs> Imagine if I just fell. Okay. Very rickety, <laughs> very scary.
<laughs> All right. Just waiting down there. All right. Let's get a good look at the area. Uh, I wonder where this is supposed to be. This looks very much like the uh, on-ramp area near um, the waterfront, sort of. Looks like, like, first or second. Um, not near, I mean, it's near Pike Place, technically, and that everything downtown is near Pike Place, but uh, basically just the downtown area where all the, the fancy brickstone apartments are and stuff. Lots of old businesses down there, too. I used to work in an office building that if this building is where I think it is, it's like literally like right there. <laughs> Restricted area. It is unlawful to enter this area without the permission of the uh, installation commander. And then quarantine restrictions. Pretty standard stuff. Ooh. Brick in a bottle. All persons are required to report any suspected infection cases to, what is that, Gentcom upon penalty of death. Can't crawl under that. So there's nothing under there. Probably nothing on here as well. Yeah, too low to the ground. Main gate, 0512. Okay, I wonder when this was written. North 0, 1382. East 2, 5345. Five. West 1, 6128. West 2, 0451. Over. Got a big operation coming up, and Isaac wants us to scavenge any remaining supplies from downtown. Take any gas from the courthouse Saravena garage. Saravena base. That's something. Take them to the safe house in Saravena base. So... It, this, uh, it's unclear exactly who wrote this, but it seems like it's scavengers, right? So probably the WLF, which means Isaac is maybe someone in charge of the WLF. Well, that's a generator. I like this little game design choice. Uh, so notice the color of this switch is yellow. So we should be looking for a yellow power cord. Now we get to see these incredible rope physics. Look at this. It actually tugs. It goes taut. We can throw it over things, and it hangs properly. And look at that. It gets taut again with less distance. So it actually coils like real rope. And the end has weight, so it swings. There are so few games who do stuff like this. This is truly, I, I just sat here and did this for like probably 15, 20 minutes the first time I played. And we 
got plenty of slack. Do that. Just so that it's off the ground. Plug it in. And look, it hangs properly. Ellie's not as impressed as I am with the hanging. Sound. I got that gate open. Gotta figure out this one now. Well, we believe in you. Thanks. Personifying Shimmer. <laughs> the horse definitely thinks Ellie can get the gate open, that's for sure. Ellie not really understanding computers or how they work. Look at that. So now that we have that gate open, we'll have to throw this over. Come on, Ellie, safety. <laughs> Unplug it while it's turned off. So cool. All right. uh, I don't think we can crawl under here, can we? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, no. Just wanted to check for supplies if there were any. So this is the main gate. Now we're going to need to actually look. Uh, I'll read all of this in a minute. Checkpoint gate codes. Main gate 0512. Ellie can also look at Joel's watch, all the other things we have. Let's look at her journal and read these diaries. Idaho Falls. Dina caught three jackrabbits tonight. She has these traps her sister taught her how to build. They're fucking effective. My appetite hasn't come back yet, trying to force food down. Twin Falls. Found a camp along the main highway. If it was Tommy's, he's probably only a day or so ahead of us. We're getting close to Boise. Dina's pushing to go around. I don't want to add two days to this trip. These hunters tried to ambush us. Uh, I lost my place. These hunters tried to ambush us. Fuckers didn't stand a chance against us. We were scavenging for supplies, and I was looking at Dina. I felt a deep appreciation for her coming along. I really love her. Ellie said the L word. Baker City. We saw a pack of wild horses today. They were skittish. Then Dina offered them some of the fruit we collected. They ended up following us for a bit. Wish I had a camera. I've never seen her smile so wide. For like half a day, I wasn't thinking about the WLF or Jewel. Feeling guilty about that now. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm struggling to sleep. Keep seeing him with his head. Dina seems to be sick. I think she caught a cold. I feel calmer with her lying next to me. I want to do something nice for her. Yakima. 
Wow. So if they went through Idaho and then ended up in Yakima, they were listing pretty far south. Found another camp along the highway. Can't be sure it was Tommy. But we haven't seen other people in two weeks, so fingers crossed. So yeah, Tommy's only about a day ahead of them because that's, I mean, he left the morning that they left, so he must have been really booking it. So as we remember, the code is 0512. Ooh, these keyboard switches. <laughs> so delicious. Yes. Smart thinking. Quick thinking. Now what? I found a note back there. Had some codes on it. it. Says there's a WLF safe house at some place called Saravena Base. Saravena. So we find it? Hopefully we find our first WLF. Get them to talk. Go from there. Let's do it. I wanted to check back there actually, see if I could go. Aha, so we do have a puzzle here. Let's do that really quickly. How do we get out? The answer is that way. <laughs> get the high ground here, take a look at everything. big stash so if we look over here we can see there really isn't too much doesn't look like there's any uh people watching guard but there could be people in the the buildings so be prepared just in case there's an ambush i don't remember if there is one <laughs> however it goes to show that the environment design is pretty good makes sense that there would be a watch point there right around us Oh shit, look. Saravina Hotel. That's gotta be it. <clears throat> okay. Let's find a way past this, uh, fuck Fedra gate. Very creative. Gets right to the point. Let's get closer and scope it out. Five, three, four, five. WLF. So that building right there, the Servina Hotel, is based off of a very uh, historic building in Seattle. I don't remember its name exactly, but it has that kind of like neon lit sign above it. I think it's apartments now. It's not an actual hotel. Okay, here we go. Out of gas. God damn it. Well, what do we do now? Oh, shit. The note. What? The note mentioned that there's gas in the courthouse garage and the dome. All right. Courthouse garage and the dome. So what's the plan for finding these places? We ride around and see what we see. You think Tommy came through here? He did. Sergeant Ward. Continued WLF disruption of our supply lines, in addition to infected attacks and spore infestations, means we are still unable to meet the weekly food distribution quotas. Keep the city gates sealed to new entrants until further notice. To ease the burden on the food stock, step up your supply or your sweeps for criminals and expel. All Class Two crimes now qualify for expulsion. We're running out of time. 
So yeah, Fedra was doing very poorly. Let's try another one against you. Can't go in there. Those are all boarded up. And it doesn't look like there's anything we can get to in here either. Yeah, I can't climb on top of this. Too many vines, I guess. <laughs> Where the horse? Shimmer, come on. What was that sound? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're here. Ah, nice. We'll mark it up as we go. Aha. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I mean, I guess this, this makes uh, a little bit of sense for us. It, it, the numbers are moved up a little bit. Um, and we kind of entered in the center of the city. But overall... Columbia, Cherry, yeah. Uh, this is kind of weird, though, because the streets in Seattle are alphabetical. <laughs> so James Street being there is kind of odd, but... I used to have a bus stop on Cherry Street. What the hell happened out here? I'm guessing the military bombed the shit out of this place. Why would they do that? They would sometimes destroy parts of the city that were lost to the infected or to the rebels. That seems like overkill. Well, but it usually worked. On the infected or the rebels? Both. Shit. Believe me. You're lucky you didn't grow up in a QZ. I'm starting to get that impression. What would have happened if I'd stayed? I'd probably just become one more asshole soldier. No way. I can't see you taking orders from anybody. Yeah. Good point. I gotta say... I was expecting the Seattle QZ to be a lot more occupied. Yeah. Maybe they're all hiding at the Saravina. How many WLF do you think there are anyway? Well, at least eight. <laughs> if we're lucky, that'll be it. We'll be fine. We should stay alert, stock up while we can. I'm trying to find a way to get up there so I can check out that convoy. I'd probably be dropping down. Yeah. Ellie, I think Shimmer's getting sick. What? How can you tell? She sounds a little hoarse. <laughs> Boy. Come on, that was a good one. All this water is pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Seattle does get a lot of rainfall, but it's more constant. It's not really heavy rain. Fascists. Fedra truck. Oh. This guy was an officer. Traveling in a ration truck? Yeah. Trying to hide, maybe? Unsuccessfully. Yeah, sure looks that way. Looks like there might have been bullet holes, yeah. Anything over here? Nope. Everything is in place. We will be waiting. Once we... Oh, ah. Once we intercept the convoy and take the Fedra officers captive, you can abandon your post and join us. I know you've taken numerous risks and lived in fear of being discovered. Your loyalty to our cause is appreciated. Isaac. So yeah, Isaac is a WLF person uh, who was fighting against Fedra, and he turned against these folks who were seemingly uh, helping them out. They were in inside agents, I guess. We'll let Shimmer have a little good time over there.
There's nothing up this way that we can get to. Yeah. Anything in this truck for us? Doesn't seem like it. Can we open this one? I don't think so, but just want to try. Yeah. No can do. All right, we'll sweep from one side uh, of the street to the other. Seattle QZ main gate A. It's up here. Old question mark. This is cool. I'm like a holy shit, they might get crushed kind of mood. Relax. Probably been like this for years. It's not gonna collapse today. I think. Not a thing. West Lake Bank. Ooh. All right, so we got a combat encounter. How exciting. All right, what can we do to take care of them? We could try to stealth, but that seems pretty hard with the number of them there are and how easy it is for them to see us. So maybe we just use our brick and a Molotov. Wait for them all to run at us, and boom. Got them all. Nice. Efficiency. We did it. Okay. That's all of them. What's with the body armor? They don't look like soldiers. Yeah. Not sure. What are we? You think this is the bank? Looks like a bank. Ooh, it's fancy schmancy. It is in fact a bank. It said Westlake Bank. <laughs> all right. Uh, what else is around here? Is there any other bricks or bottles we could pick up? Because I would love to replenish that. And the extra Molotov we made came in handy. Ooh, all right, another rag, so that helps us build another Molotov if we ever need it. Nothing over here. Guess that was the computer mouse. Nothing we can pick up, so. All right, I guess we'll head down that doorway, unless there's something on this side that I missed. Nope. 
What's back here? Six oh two three oh six vault stairs tellers. Those body armor guys were trying to rob the bank. Oh, <laughs> shit, it's like that movie. Which one? The one with the surfer bank robbers. Oh yeah, love that movie. <laughs> That's all right. So tellers stairs, change of guard every two hours during the day, every four hours at night. I believe the one that they're referencing is point blank. Point break, I mean, not point blank. <laughs> 602 right? 6 I think. We'll see if it's right. Nice. Ooh, a shotgun. So yeah, I guess he was locked in here. Either when the bombs went off or when the outbreak started, right? Fuck this. I wasn't even supposed to be here. Fucking Neil roped me in, said the police all this money. The bag's full. <laughs> if we were back in the old world, whew, we'd be rich. Said the police would be too busy chasing all those sick people running around. Said this place would be easy picking. So of course those sick fuckers showed up and everything went to shit. Pulled one of them off Kyle and nearly lost my arm with the fucking bites. Then my own guys lock me in here. The cops will get here soon. If I go down, then my friends go down with me. I'll tell the newspapers, tell everyone on TV that Kyle, Peters, Leon Travis, and Neil Grant are motherfucking cowards. I feel really fucking weird right now. Sweating like a pig. Arms all red and black where I got bit. Can't keep my thoughts straight. Oh shit, is this how it happens? Am I turning into one of them? Fuck that. If I'm going out, I'll go out like a fucking man. <laughs> they tried robbing the bank on outbreak day. Probably seemed smart at the time. Oh yeah, look at that. He definitely did it himself. That's brutal. All this money that's just completely worthless in the apocalypse. <laughs> Ooh. Nothing. <laughs> Anything else we can pull out? Let's see? No? <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. Oop, here's another one. Hmm. Alright, so we got a shotgun from that. That's cool. Is there anything else in here? Anything we might have missed? Doesn't really seem like it. Oh, where did that one come from? And another runner? Only one of them. Come on, come close, I dare you. Just don't let the clicker see us, and we should be good. Very, very nervous. I mean, you have to imagine that even being in just an environment like this with one clicker would be terrifying, right? Because you make one mistake, and then suddenly you're bit, and that's it. So even though in the game sense we take care of them pretty easily, 
This has got to be a pretty terrible experience. Very nerve-wracking. Don't like that I don't have eyes on it. Is it going into the vault? Watch it. Oh, okay. No bueno. That's what I meant. Come on, Dina. Stop missing your shots, it's right in front of you. Ah. Dina's AI is pretty good to keep away from these guys. We can do this all day. Alright. That was kind of a waste of our bullets, but... We just go back out the way we came in. Hey, if you lived in the old world, what would you buy with all that money? I don't know. Maybe a big farmhouse? But you can get a farmhouse now. Okay. What would you get? A space shuttle. Oh, that's right. You're astronaut thing. Hey, it's cooler than a farmhouse. A farmhouse is way more practical. Ooh. Alrighty. Let's uh let's see what else is available around here, huh?